Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's work day for Spruce Stomper today. Behind me, I got a little carpentry cooked up and I thought you folks might find it interesting. So uh, let's take a tour around and see what's on the go. So the overall plan here is fairly simple. This becomes a lid for this because, you know, if you're gonna park your valuables and stuff in there, well, you might as well put a roof on it. Hey friends, just gonna stop with a quick thought here before we roll too far into the video. Uh, I know a lot of people click off in the first 30, 45 seconds of a video. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of good stuff throughout this whole thing. So click through, but make sure you get to the end. That's where the good stuff always lies. And uh, you don't have to click the like and you don't have to subscribe. Do me an even bigger favor. If you got a buddy or a friend or a family member that you think might be into this kind of content because uh, you know they're an awesome person like you who likes to do a whole variety of stuff like I do, tell them about it and we can all have fun together. So. The beauty of this style is, uh, well, there's no ladders. Look at this. This is me. This is me working on the roof. Do, 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 do. No at height, no fall arrest, no monkey business. Prefabbed down here. And then uh, a crane truck is politely gonna show up at some point and pop this baby into place. So I thought I'd just give a run through on how I go about setting this up and a little bit maybe why I do it. And this is scalable. So this building is 48 by 30 feet. This works for a bigger building. If you're building an eight by 10 garden shed, this isn't a bad way to do it. Um, it allows all hands on deck to be on the ground. And it really is just dependent on what you're comfortable with and uh, the style of building you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. So the basis of where you're gonna start uh, are these, um, these runners here. I have one on each side. So essentially, I have laid them out in a straight line. One is perfectly straight on the back, staked in place. That becomes your reference line for the whole building to line all your trusses up to. These are both set at the same height. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but I do it that way, just so you're working on a nice level surface. And um, I've also made an effort to square them up to each other. So when you do your layout, which I'll just pop you up here, you run your layout and you make your marks, you got your two foot on center, and then just bang, bang, bang. There's no question, there's no guesswork. It's all dialed in. You just pop them in place and away you go. Uh, temporary bracing on the back here. So I've just got a temporary brace in a few spots to keep my two foot on center. And uh, yeah, it's really just as simple as that. We'll pop around the back and uh, show where the base is. So this is where it all starts. This is this is the first step, the first truss that you're gonna set up that everything's based on. So your gable end truss. Now this is, this is level and plumb and braced back. So it is braced at the bottom out to a stake and it is braced at the top down to that same stake. So this helps it maintain uh, being straight up and down where you want it and the purpose of the uh, brace holding the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, there's a string line here, is this, this bottom cord you want deadly straight. This whole first truss, deadly straight, because you, at the end of the day, are then going to base your entire structure from this point forward as a reference to make sure you maintain that everything is exactly where it needs to be. And as far as cost, well, some people wonder about cost. To set all these trusses with a machine or a uh, truck, a small crane truck, um, is gonna run more money than what it's gonna cost to just set these in two halves. So this is 48 feet. We're gonna break it in the center at 24 feet. So you have two manageable lifts. Um, allows the truck to get right up beside it. And it's easier to maneuver them. Um, the guy with, you know, it's gonna take him longer to set up the outriggers on the truck than it is going to be to pop these into place versus doing one truss at a time and bracing. And you gotta remember, I'm a one man band. So for me, that is a crazy amount of ladder work. You've got a part of a day putting the trusses up 
And then I still have to do all the bracing, but I have to do it 12 feet off the ground, one board at a time. This, we're gonna whistle through this on the ground, no problem. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll give a little example how we pop one of these trusses in place. Whoop, sand in my pencil now. I'll give an example of how to pop one of these in place. Of course, I've saved the best for last. Further down there, it was a lot easier because I had a lot of room to get the tractor squared up to uh, the process here, but I got a couple trusses left and uh, well, let's have a go. And we're off to the races. Oh, well, now we're off to, it's gotta be in gear to go anywhere. Oof. Now, unfortunately, I left you guys way over there, but uh, you know, I'm sure you can see me. Hi there. And hopefully you can hear me clear as day. So, I'm gonna slide this out, pop this chain on. Simple, simple. I've done this enough time to know more or less where the balance point is. Hopefully taking all the guesswork out of it. This is one instance where you're like, oh, I could see a benefit of a helper, you know, I wouldn't have to get in and out and that sort of thing, but a little exercise never hurt anybody. Oh, it is slow and steady. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get her lifted up so it clears the tire. There we go, and I'll come on back over to you. Now, it does wave around a bit, and of course there's not much you can do about it from in the cab, but there's nothing to get too worried about. You'll see when we get over there. You can see why the ones further down the end were better, because you know, by the time I'd turn, it'd give the truss a lot more time to swing around on its own, rather than me waiting or having to get out again to do it. So, I come in here like this, let it swing, watch the trailer, and we go like that. We'll cut it over this way here, down, start laying her down like this. Pick it up again, I'm under one board. Oh, I had too much tension on that chain. And I got a little tension on it like this and we'll just stop right there. Get her up on this end. see if I can get her up on this end, like this. Over. There we go. Let's move you guys around. You can see the, the final results a little better here. So, just like that, that all fits pretty easy. So you can see, and again, I mean, you watch this, me doing this. I mean, there really isn't a need for a second guy. I mean, unless you just want to hear a second guy give you his opinion about every step of the direction, but I don't really want that. Just a little bit of tension off of that. And, uh, there we go. A guy just goes like this. These aren't that heavy. These trusses only actually weigh 135 pounds each. So yeah, they're 38, they're 30 feet long, but they don't weigh nothing. So there. And once it's once it's wedged up underneath of these the braces, I mean, you're good to go. It's not going anywhere. So they're pretty much solid at that point. You mark your two foot on centers out, tack it down. And the best part is I'm doing all this, no tool belt or anything. Um, I, just, I have a hammer and a few nails and a tape just in the cab of the tractor. So just whistle in and out. And uh, 
realistically when I was doing this of course I did it without the camera it was a busy day it was only taking me I don't know maybe six or seven minutes of truss just to bump, 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 bump.
everything fit perfectly, like perfectly. I couldn't have went any better. It just, all the prep paid off. So now we'll turn you around. We just gotta button this seam up, put the hurricane ties on, screw it down to the wall, and it's tin time. Huh. A lot of weight off the shoulders to have that done. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me. Hope you uh, hope you liked the video there, and we will see you on whatever we're up to next.